Eighth grade, open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit eight, lesson four, square roots on the number line. Problem number one, A. Find the exact length of each line segment. Let's start with line segment AB. I turned it into a triangle, and I'm going to use this triangle to help me figure out the missing side length. The side length of the blue line is one unit. Let's call that A. The side length of the red line is four units. Let's use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the missing side length. I rotated the triangle 180 degrees so it looks more familiar. Let's use A for the blue line, B for the red line, and C for the black line. Remember, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Since A is one unit and B is four units, it's one squared plus four squared which will be equal to c squared. One squared is one, and four squared is four times four, which is 16. One plus 16 equals c squared. Since one plus 16 is 17, then c squared equals 17. Since 17 equals c squared, then side length c would equal the square root of 17. Side length c represents the original line segment AB. The length of the line segment AB is the square root of 17. We can use the same strategy to find the length of line segment GH. As you can see, I formed a triangle. Now we can use the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Since 16 plus 16 equals 32, then C squared equals 32. That means that the side length for line segment GH would be the square root of 32. B. Estimate the length of each line segment to the nearest tenth of a unit. Explain your reasoning. Line segment AB. We know from problem A that the length of line segment AB is the square root of 17. My estimate for the length would be approximately 4.1 units. That's because 4.1 squared equals 16.81 and 4.2 squared equals 17.64. Since 16.81 is closer to 17, I selected 4.1 units to be the estimated length of this line segment to the nearest tenth of a unit. Line segment GH. In problem A, we figured out that the length of this line segment is the square root of 32. That means that its estimated length to the nearest tenth of a unit is approximately 5.7. Because 5.6 squared is 31.36, and 5.7 squared equals 32.49. Since 32.49 is closer to 32, the estimated length of this line segment to the nearest tenth of a unit is 5.7 units. Do something nice. Like this video, say something in the comments, tell a friend about this channel, and hit that thanks button. Problem number two. Plot each number on the x-axis. Consider using the grid to help. The square root of 16. That's an easy one. Since 4 times 4 is 16, the square root of 16 is 4. So we'll plot our point directly on the 4 of the horizontal axis, which is the x-axis. The square root of 35. Well, I know 5 times 5 is 25, and 6 times 6 is 36. So the square root of 35 is going to be somewhere between the square root of 25, which is 5, and the square root of 36, which is 6. Since 35 is so close to 36, we know that this number is going to be just less than the square root of 36, or just less than 6. So we can plot the point just less than 6 on the horizontal axis, or the x-axis. And finally, the square root of 66. Well, I know that 8 times 8 is 64, and 9 times 9 is 81. Since 66 is just a little bit more than 64, I know that we can plot this point just a little bit to the right of 8. Problem number 3. Use the fact that the square root of 7 is a solution to the equation x squared equals 7 to find a decimal approximation of the square root of 7 whose square is between 6.9 and 7.1.
That'll be somewhere between the square root of 4 and the square root of 9. 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 3 is 9. So we know that this number will be between 2 and 3. We also know that the square root of 7 is closer to the square root of 9 than it is the square root of 4. So this number is going to be greater than 2.5. You can use a calculator to test it out, but 2.64 times 2.64 gets you pretty close to 7. So I'd say that the number is about 2.64. Problem number 4 from 8th grade Unit 7 Lesson 14. Graphite is made up of layers of graphene. Each layer of graphene is about 200 pictometers or 200 times 10 to the negative 12 meters thick. How many layers of graphene are there in a 1.6 millimeter thick piece of graphite? Express your answer in scientific notation. One millimeter can be represented as 0.001 meters. 1.6 millimeter can be represented as 1.6 times 10 to the negative third power. The thickness of the graphite is 1.6 times 10 to the negative third power. To find out how many layers of graphene there are, we need to divide this number by 200 times 10 to the negative 12th power. That gives us 0.008 times 10 to the power of 9. When you write this in scientific notation, the number becomes 8 times 10 to the power of 6, or about 8 million. There are about 8 million layers of graphene in a piece 1.6 millimeters thick. Problem number five, from eighth grade unit six, lesson six. Here's a scatter plot that shows the number of assists and points for a group of hockey players. The model represented by y equals 1.5x plus 1.2 is graphed with the scatter plot. A, what does the slope mean in this situation? Here's a look at the slope on the graph. It rises up 30 points and to the right 20 assists. That's a slope of 30 over 20, which is equal to 3 over 2, or 1 and a half. The slope shows that for every assist, the number of player points goes up by 1.5. B. Based on the model, how many points will a player have if he has 30 assists? Based only on the slope, if a player has 30 assists, they would have 45 points. But based on the information on this graph, if a player had 30 assists, they would have a little bit more than 45 points, approximately 47 points. Problem number six, from eighth grade unit three, lesson five. The points 12 and 23 and 14 and 45 lie on a line. What is the slope of the line? We can use this formula, M being the slope, is equal to the difference of the y values divided by the difference of the x values. We can represent the difference of the y values with 45 minus 23 and the difference of the x values with 14 minus 12. That becomes 22 over 2 and 22 divided by 2 equals 11. So the slope of this line would be 11. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video and hitting that thanks button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.